The odd thing about this storm in particular is that normally our storms, hurricanes, will move from east to west, get to about Florida, and then curl around and go back towards the east. This storm is doing that for the most part, but then because of what's happening in our upper atmosphere, this storm is going to curl back and come to the west, and that's extremely unusual uh, for a hurricane at that latitude. This particular storm is interesting because we both have a hurricane coming across some warm water and intensifying and a, and a cold front uh, coming down from the north. Uh, they will meet somewhere off the coast of the United States and the combination of the two is going to turn the hurricane into an extratropical storm, uh, which means that it's going to have the characteristics of both uh, a nor'easter uh, and a hurricane. Uh, this storm, we think, is going to turn and head toward shore here. And at su such time as it does that, it gets off of the warm waters of the Gulf Stream and then gets under and interacts with the jet stream uh, off the United States. And the combination then we expect is going to turn into a very strong nor'easter. Well, nor'easters typically aren't as strong as this. A nor'easter ha has uh, certainly a strong pressure gradient which produces the wind. And they, nor'easters, typically move right parallel to the coastline. So they influence an area, they bring the winds on shore in advance of this, hence the name nor'easter. Winds are blowing from the northeast on the north side of the storm, and that usually produces the most precipitation or snow in the wintertime. Uh, here, this storm is moving sort of parallel to the coastline, it's coming straight on shore. So there's going to be some area, and I hate to point at Long Island here, but there's going to be some area that's really going to feel the brunt of these onshore winds. And it's not just going to pass by them like a nor normal nor'easter, it would come on shore and, and be focused on that area for a while. Typically a storm in the Midwest here in Michigan or even on the East Coast it has a combination of air masses, a warm air, cold air mixing. And the meeting of those two air masses causes the storm to intensify. Hurricanes, on the other hand, are driven entirely by condensation of water releasing heat. But when you put the two together, you have a massive amount of water vapor releasing heat plus this temperature contrast between the cold air we're experiencing now and the warm air that's out over the Atlantic. So we have sort of both mechanisms going together to produce a particularly strong storm. It wouldn't surprise me if this wound up being a billion dollar storm uh, given the location of its landing. Uh, because power lines go down, people lose electricity, their businesses can't work. Uh, there's, it could be a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, commerce that's going to be upset by this.